Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lions. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Two Hours, One Life. Well, I'm just a little bit late today because I was watching uh, Dunson play XCOM 2. I had to finish the video. It was too crazy. Let's do that right away. Craving an apple. Oh my gosh. No! Who picked all these worms? Who knows? I'll bet it Ronnie who did it. I'll bet you did. Go get our clothes on. Is it just me, or are there more clothes every single time we log in? Nice. And the backpack. Perfect. Is that a stack of bone needles? It is. Oh my god. Alright. Oh yeah, somebody uh, got more kindling in there because we were running out before. Boxite. Okay, gooseberry is what we're craving. Let's grab uh, this one. And then I gotta remember oh. to come over here and uh, and fix it. Water and all that. Okay. Well, if we ever need straight shafts, we know where to go, jeez. Is this unknown person again? Yeah, nameless. <laughs> Make sure and name ourselves. I need to get the um, the home marker placed as well. <laughs> Forgotten person, Eve. Aramo, Eve Chancellor, Aramo. Forgotten person, nameless person, Eve Chancellor, nameless person. It do be like that. Mossy big hard <laughs> rock. Mm. Mm. All right. Craving apple again. I just ate an apple. Why uh why would I crave apples twice? I wonder. And it even says yum. I've already eaten one. Why is that? I don't know. And now she wants a wild carrot, of course. Because that means that I have to go places to get the food that I need. It's silly. We have all this food at the house, and they crave something that we have to travel to get. It appears I've gone the wrong way. I hear you, filthy boar. That's something I probably ought to stock up on, is uh, dang wild carrots. Travel out into the world and find a huge patch of them and just gather up a bunch. Here's a nice, decent amount. Here we go. 
There's one already dug up as well. We'll take that back home with us. Let's go ahead and get both of these. I didn't put down my home marker before I left. Like an empty... I even said I need to put down my home marker before I left. Okay. Coconut, a drilled one, specifically. Oh my god. That mouflon scared the heck out of me. There's three right next to each other. Four right next to each other. That I didn't notice. I don't think I was this far south when I came out. Why has the Malachite been basketed as well? That's my next question. Is it drill down here? Here it is. Oh, here's a bunch of wild beets and wild garlic. Oh my god. <laughs> Who went through the process of doing all that? That had to be around here. Every time I hear the door close behind me, I'm like, what in the world? Okay, wild onions, cactus fruits, bananas, burdocks. So if we make a crate uh, right quick, we could do it for um, wild carrots and put them in there. Let's see, we also need crates for the beans, uh, the tomatoes still, the cucumbers, but we need to get these pickles eaten so that we can get them out of the way. So we need at least three crates. How many boards do we have down here? Oh, here we go. There's already crates. I oh, can't put wild beets in the crates, huh? Wild carrots you can, though. I'm assuming you can't put the onions in there either because the onions are sitting beside it. But these, we need to bring them in here because they're a different kind of carrot, you know. There. Those are pickling cucumbers. I don't remember. Are those the ones that have been chopped already or or what? There, we'll put those there. Okay, getting hungry. Let's go eat that drilled coconut. Yeah, we haven't, um, we never did collect the rest of the cocoa pods. Let's go do that right quick. We should have plenty of time. Oh, not the trees. Ah, I 
thought it was right around here. It's a little further up, maybe? Yeah, there they are. I thought I just saw some... some mosquitoes back there. Can I get a look at where I'm going, please? Okay, perhaps I didn't. That's all of them. Good. We could do some more mining today, and I'm trying to think about what do we really need. I'm thinking we need to get started on the um, that uh, smelting pot. We'll try and work on building that today. I wonder if you can put cocoa pods in a crate. Ah! Well, hello there. She's got a turtle! <laughs> I like turtles, she says. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's that uh, that meme, right? That kid? That little kid? Hey, Ronnie, how's it going? Two seconds and you'll join. There she is. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Um. Yeah, we gotta work on the big one. The giant furnace. Oh, I don't even have two tech open. What am I doing? I'm gonna make sure I don't miss. I didn't see what she said. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think it's a furnace. Yeah, blast furnace. Furnace tower. Let's start with that. So we start with the stone fireplace with a pile of cut stones. And the, uh, let's see, the stone fireplace was pit stakes with mixed stones. Pit stakes with mixed stones. Okay. Um... Where do we want it? Oh, I forgot about that, uh, that bush. Yeah, that's a that's a great spot actually. Oh, you don't have to have to soil the the stuff. I gotta go. Um, I gotta go get something to eat, some beef. Okay. Um, no, put it here. What? My God. Is this beef? It is. <coughs> okay. 
A regular carrot. Good. I could do that. That's easy. Okay, she... <laughs> Man, she's so fast. Uh... Alright. Now, what did I do with the stakes? Here they are. That was easy. Uh, round stone. Pit sticks. Alright. What does she say? Here's some small cut stones. We need the uh, the mixed cut stones, though. I think I'm gonna have to ride the horse and go get some some actual stones, uh, because let's see what else. Yeah, after we get the stone fireplace, we need to put uh, cut stones, pile of cut stones. So we we need quite a few stones. Is what I'm trying to get at. Um, Okay, Aranu is going to get the stones. So what else will we need? Okay, that's the furnace tower. Stack of bricks. Uh, firing adobe kiln? Can we use uh, a regular kiln? Like a stone kiln with it? Yes. We can put a uh, stone kiln with r wet bricks. And then we put kindling in there. Okay. All right. So let's get all these all these bricks in the kiln. We got to empty the kiln first. I'd like to know how to make the uh, the wet bricks too. Cuz I wouldn't mind having another stack of of bricks. says. We need six fire bricks and six regular. Okay. So I guess these will be regular bricks. Okay. How do you make a wet flat rock with compressed fire brick? Wet soil and fire clay? Fertile soil pile and fire clay. How do you make fire clay? Fire clay pile. Clay and bauxite powder, I see. So that's what the box side is for then. Ah. There we go. Now is it a, a stone? Do you have to cook it? 
Oh, it's the hammer. Okay. And then does that only make... Make one? Maybe it makes like three. But we would need at least six. So where do I get the, um, the actual bauxite from? In the desert. Very rare. Okay. Alright. Um, hungry for grapes, so let's go get grapes. We'll run to the desert and we'll get, uh... Dang old, uh... Bauxite. There might be other stuff that we need at the desert, right? <laughs> Does she have the mallet? Okay, never mind. We'll stay here. It feels a shame to uh, fire up the Nukeman engine for one. One box item. Uh, and I remember too to get the the metal plates. We need to have steel pipes, right? So our rods, I mean. So if we make a couple of steel rods first, yeah, let's do that. Let's make a a couple or three steel rods. <laughs> And then we'll, uh, when we fire up the hammer, we can make sheet metal and, uh, and cook the bauxite. So then we can also have the plates made for the, for the thing. If I remember it, they have to be hot. The steel has to be hot. Steel rod. Yeah. Yeah. We pretty much need to make all of all of the steel into rods, but um, we could start with like I don't know as many as we can do, I guess. Bronze, bronze, steel. Hmm. Okay, we could get the crucibles fired up first. Let's do that. It's too late. It's too late. I could have gotten a couple of them done, but not enough. I would have been running back and forth. This actually burns a lot longer than I than I thought, though. So I did waste a little bit. Hey, Dunson! I just got finished watching your... Uh, the, um... XCOM 2 vid video. <laughs> then we have enough fire bricks okay okay cool uh then let's look for bricks wet brick wet shape brick compressed brick mixture wet soil and clay fertile soil pile and clay and water 
Hey, Tommy, there he is. How's it going, man? Okay, we got a fertile soil pile there. So let's go, uh, let's go get some clay. Uh, there's a bunch of clay this way, actually. Even if we have some already, getting more is going to be good. some water. Ah. Let's get water out of the partial bucket, though. It's a long way to go for water. I thought we had a bucket of water at the garden, but it's just a watering can. And the dung bucket. Alright. We did it. Uh, now we need the couple of flat rocks. What the heck? I guess I could bring them over here. Oh, it's a, it's a bolt. We need a bolt. Hey, Steve, how's it going, man? <laughs> Welcome. Let's <laughs> just make 12 bricks. I should have been stacking these in the kiln the whole time, though. Go ahead and make the rest of them because I don't I don't want there to be like uh, just a pile of brick mix over here. We'll put them down here. We can build with the uh, the bricks also, so we can always uh, use more.
Nice. We got bricks and other bricks. Good. <laughs> Craving an actual beat. Gundabar. I'll eat that in a minute. Okay, so we got bricks. Uh, furnace tower is about to be built. We got the pit stakes. Tower and stack of bricks. Okay, copper stoves and diesel engine. Okay, she made the engine already. So we can put that in there. I know it makes the diesel engine, but then what? Wait, that's a, a Cowper stove? No, no, no. I wanted a furnace. Last furnace. Oh, we need pipes, too. So we do need, we need even more rods and pipes. Or is it just one? And diesel engine. Oh my god. You'd think I would know by now how to take things out of things. Or a barrel of concrete. Oh my god. Or do you have to use tongs to open the door? How do you how do you open the door? What's happening? I thought there would be smoke or something, some kind of indicator, but it it had it uh, described on the thing. Okay, um, then yeah, full bucket of water. All right. Oh wait, I already did that. What am I doing? I got... So that's a, oh, a stack of pipes now. Or rods, sorry. We still need to turn them into pipes. need to load more pipes for the uh, uh, 
oil drill as well. Oh, I didn't actually put the water in there. Oh, I did. I'm so smart. I did it correctly and didn't even realize. Oh, wait, I thought... Didn't she build it already? I thought she had it built for a second. What the heck? Well, she knows better what she's doing than I do. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm standing standing in the dang way. You get out of the way. Why they invented Tipex? <laughs> That's all of them. Oh, there goes the concrete. I want to help. Okay. I can also help by doing the uh, the pipes. So let's get that done. Do they have to be hot? I'm so stupid. Why am I so dumb? I don't understand. I just wasted a whole load of, uh, of goodies there. I in no way remembered them needing to be to be hot. <sighs> See, she's she's too good at the game, and I'm too bad at the game. That's the problem. I wasted a bucket of water and a pile of gold. Unforgivable. What the heck? Nonsense. <laughs> I don't know. I just I just saw it happen. I just saw it happen. All right. Wait, what? Oh my god, really? That's okay. This one runs uh for less time than than the furnace does. What? Why isn't it working? Steel rod. Steel rod. Why isn't it working? I just made a heck ton of freaking pipes. Newcomb and Bohr. It's just a regular... It doesn't have to be hot. Oh, it's because I'm using freaking tongs. Why am I so dumb? See? I'm the worst. I've wasted two buckets of water now. That's so stupid. That's so dumb. I'm... I used up all of the water. The well is dry now. The well is dry. I freaking wasted all of the water, and now the well is dry. Ugh. But it starts filling up in 15 minutes. Ugh. 
What? <coughs> oh my goodness. The new command is laughing at me. I know. Retro Gaming 2.0, how's it going? Cyber Zombie. Have we already had the longest day of the year? IRL? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, Summer Solstice was... I think in June? I'm pretty sure it's in June. The sound effects in this always make you smile? Heck yeah. Get some from the ponds. Okay. I've got one more full bucket of water. So I could have had all of these turned into pipes two tries ago. But I'm just the worst. <laughs> Give it to me. Bonk. Do we need two pipes? How many pipes do we need? Okay, two pipes. And then we hit it with the smithing hammer. There we go. Oh, man. I can't believe me. I can't. <laughs> oh man. I don't I don't feel very awesome. I feel very wasteful. And I I feel like I should have known because I just made pipes on Sunday. Like two days ago. How could I forget so fast? Oh well. Thank you. Thank you though. Very encouraging. We got the pipes in. It's a full on blast furnace now. We did. With Coke. Don't be killed. Now how do I how do I make the coke there? In a kiln, huh? Coal in a kiln. Oh I see. You want summer to end? Me too. Me too. <laughs> summer solstice was June 21st or 22nd? Okay. I thought it was was June. And Retro Gaming 2.0 full support? I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. I still I still do need to get over to your channel and check it out. You've been here several times and uh, said hello. Blast Furnace. How to use. Put coke in there. We need kerosene also? And then you can fire it. If you use uh, your hand with limestone, then what? You just put, you just use your hand and put a bunch of stuff in there and it, and it, wait, how do you make pig iron? 
Oh, with the mold? Okay. And I made, I made a, yeah, a blank sand mold right here. So we can use that for stuff also. Let's stack these bricks uh, a little lower. Okay, let's go get an orange. Okay, so there's the blast furnace. Uh, we could take these, um, these pipes over to the, over to the other place. This is probably kind of in the way. Oh, I made it a whole hour. Okay, I do have to take a uh, a quick break for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Trying to think, is there anything here at home that we need pipes for? But I think really mainly is it's the um, dangle oil. Oh, I needed the, um, flint and steel, too, didn't I? Uh, yeah, flint and steel, kindling, and then we can grab, um, what do you call it? This, tinder, right away, on the way. And if I bring an axe with me, then we can, we can make kindling here. So I'll grab the axe. Flint steel and the axe. Is there still an axe up here? No. I think that's the one that I that I brought over to the 
the pin. Yeah, we need we need more kindling here, really. Uh, cooked rabbit pie, huh? Let's see. Wasn't there more? Yeah. I thought there was some firewood over here. Ah, here's a bunch right here, too. Pressing the wrong button. Morning, Alex. How's it going, man? You're late. Oh my god. Really? Okay. We'll bring back some more uh, firewood on our way back, too. Wait. Yeah, I might as well take the wagon, because we need, we need some of the... Um, we need some of the... The, there's, god dang it, a freaking butt log that we can bring back. Words, mouth, brain. I'm not hitting on all cylinders today. I slept all right last night. I shouldn't be, like, real tired or too crazy or anything like that, but I am. I am anyway. It's like this relatable post I just shared on Facebook. I got eight hours of sleep. It took me three days, but whatever. Okay, so we'll put this there. Light it up. Why did I, um, why did I put them uh, both on there? I wanted to keep one firewood so we could light this up real good <laughs> okay and this is all ready to go so let's just hit it and then we can go and get some more water from the ponds over here now oh, this one's filled up a little. Uh, we only need one more, but I I don't trust these uh, ponds that are almost empty. No, not that. Go away. Oh, we have to put the pipe on first. Okay, let's go get uh, more water first, and then we'll come back. Boop 
God. They're really running out quick. Oh, what? Stay away, Pigu. Okay, so now we'll be able to run it twice. Please have oil. Yeah! So you just have to ask nicely. Oh my god. Is that a pipe inside of the, the thing? Yeah. Okay. I almost had it. There! Okay. So now, uh, we need empty tank. Good. Good! These are the only two that I hadn't taken with me. Oh, I had a whole nother freaking wagon down here that I left. No wonder. Uh, yeah, we'll take this one back and then we'll come back and get the, the one with the stuff. I'll tell Aranu that we have oil. She probably is watching, so she probably knows already. I forget. There. I won't start it up just now, but it's it's all set up just in case. Let's get some rabbit pie before we go. I know it's not that far, but we might as well go ahead and eat first. Oh, it's the last bite, too. Okay. Do we have any uncooked rabbit? We don't. Okay. I'm gonna go rabbit hunting when we come back. We'll go out and get snares and stuff. Do you have to... Do you have to bait them in this one? I don't remember. And we should have snares somewhere. I've seen them around. I just can't remember where they're at. So I'll have to look. I think we still have some bean burritos. I think we have at least one sitting around somewhere. Okay, so all of this stays. We just need this. I can't remember if you need more pipes at the, at the well or not, but we're gonna need pipes for other stuff at the house, I'm sure. Right? Maybe. Perhaps not. 
perhaps, perhaps not. Have the rabbit farm. What do, uh, oh, and she's she showed me the snares right then. Mole hole. What do you do with mole holes? You whack them with a mallet? Are you you can't be serious? use your hand they hide if you whack them with a mallet they go down make a rubber for tires yeah because we need the wheels and stuff for that for that cart too uh but okay there's one hiding right here too Can I even get in here? Oh yeah. The roof. I think I I kept the bowl in my backpack, didn't I? Like it's an empty. So I don't think I can actually carry all of these rabbits. What do I have in my pants? Oh, that's not the way to check. Okay. I can carry all the ones that we got, so that's good. Now that I've taken the sharp rock out of my pants. Uh, you know, actually, we could cut them up over here and then leave the, the pile of hides, like, right here. This flint knife is about to break, though. Of the uh, the bowls got stolen. Okay. So that's ready. It's just not baconed yet. I think that's the only pie that we're missing still. Uh, because let's see. We've got... Oh, we still have a rabbit pie? Wasteful. I'm so wasteful. Okay, there's apple pie, berry pie, two berry pies, mutton, carrot, rabbit carrot, berry carrot, 
Berry Rabbit. Berry Carrot Rabbit. We made that last time. There's a bean burrito right there. Pork tacos. Pork pie. Pork and apple pie. Steak and onion pie. Steak pie. We're missing one. Rabbit carrot. Berry carrot. Rabbit berry carrot. Berry rabbit. Berry. We don't have a, a regular just... Yeah, we have carrot pie. Hmm. Berry carrot. Now that's all of them. Okay. Well, we'll have an extra extra berry. We do have mutton, yeah, right here. Yeah. So that's good. Okay. Oh, wow. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, I guess we could, even though there's, let's see, goose, mutton, here, let's take this beef and, and put it over in this one. And then we can put some more raw stuff in, in this box. I know it's not like real life, you don't have to worry about it being like raw stuff with the cooked stuff, but... I feel like this is more for organization than it is anything else. Okay. No, oh, that palm oil. That's good. In case we want to fry something. Okay. And that was all the all the rabbits that I got, right? Yes. Good. Okay. And then we can do stuff with the hides, I guess. I don't know what, but... Uh, I'll be over here by the, the sewing stuff. So that's good. Um, okay. So we made the blast furnace. We need to work on the the other thing now. Oh yeah, coke. Heck yeah. Uh, so for that we actually need rods and then we need to hammer them into um, plates. It's two plates for that. And then we also need, um, sorry, I keep interrupting the songs. Then we also need pulleys as well. So we're gonna need, um, we're gonna need, to need more steel. For the thing, it's only steel plate. Steel. What's it? Uh, sheet metal? Sheet metal. Yeah. Two sheet metals to make the ladle. What's a Bessemer vessel? Steel rods and a pipe and a hand wheel. Bessemer converter. What the heck is that for? Pour pig iron in there. Then you stand it up. Oh, and it makes steel out of pig iron. Just straight up. Okay. Interesting. Honey bunny pie. We don't have that, that's for sure. Hey, Dread Raider! Bunnies. That's right. Mutton D's nuts. Oh my god. Got him again. Got him again. Let's get a bean burrito.
mischt. I'm watching you, don't get nervous. Is that sulfur? Why is there sulfur in the kitchen? <laughs> Honey bunny pie. That's amazing. Okay. Um, so yeah, we need at least four... We need at least four more steel. So we might as well just make it all, yeah? What do you reckon? Just get all six crucibles out there. Amazing. It's in there. Can we just pile it up? So I'm thinking about it. Uh, this over here is not the ideal spot for making for making more. What am I doing? I don't even know anymore. Why am I like this? Okay, I wasn't sure if you had to take the that out first or or what. There. That's what I want. Oh no. Oh, thank you. I should have been I should have been uh on top of that. Honestly. I'm just not as efficient as I once was. Oh I did it. I did it again. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. I think that's as many as it'll hold. Okay. More steel. Got it. Why am I so slow? We may not need this many rods, but also we might. Okay. All right. Now let me double check. Sheet metal. Hot. Okay, so the rods have to be hot when you hammer them. I just checked. You put them in the tongs, you get them hot, and then you hammer them. You get them hot, and then you get them hammered. That's still firing. Okay. Oh, these are forged already? <coughs> Better barrow. <coughs> like a wheelbarrow? <coughs> oh, I forgot about the uh, <coughs> flat rocks, too. Yas. Yas queen. <laughs> nice. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, thank you. Now we only need... Two sheet metal that I know of. Do we need more? Do we need more than two? Oh, that's right. Oh my god. Oh my god. We only needed one more too. If I wasn't so dang slow, <laughs> I knew we needed four pulleys. Oh heck. I'm doing it again. It'll be fine, right? It'll be okay. I made a ladle. I'm not the worst. I'm not the absolute worst of all time. Maybe partially, but... Wait, where'd, where'd the third one go? Oh, there it is. No, me first. Ah, I got it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that we need. Hey, 
Have all uh, four of you folks watching uh, dropped a like yet? I hope so. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Okay. Yeah, now we need a, uh, a crate, I believe. Ah! A whole box. Oh, it's a sledge. It's a sledge. Is she gonna drag it up here, or...? Okay, yeah, she's dragging it up here. <laughs> ah! Uh -huh. We both said yay at the same time. <laughs> Heck yeah. So, so would you say I... Steel beams are not pig iron? True. Steel ingots. Hmm. Okay. So let's take a look at... Uh, Seal beams. Molten steel. Pan mold, cylinder mold, sheet mold, ingot mold, blank. Okay. So Get the round stone. Come in here. Now it's a ingot, sheet, cylinder, pan, beam. We need two steel beams to get the uh, to get the um, mine improved. Pig iron? No, no, no. No, 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 no. How to get, how to use. We don't want, we don't want to pick iron ingot. What do you mean, that's the only way to use? It's not even the right mold. Oh my god. Steel beam. Molten steel. Okay, how do we get the ladle of molten steel? It shows the Bessemer converter. That can't be right. Charge with iron ore, scrap steel. What? From from scrap steel in the furnace you get iron? Cast iron. So you have to you have to have the Bessemer converter then to put the steel in.
And that was three sheet metal or four? Yeah, three sheet metal makes the vessel. And then you need, let's see, one, three rods, four rods, no, three rods and a pipe. And a hand wheel. How do you make a hand wheel? A hot copper rod on an anvil. Copper and a roller. Oh my god. Okay. Is it hot copper? No, copper ingot in the wooden tongs on a roller. It's fairly new, so this is as far as you got with the furnace. We need a pan and a stove uh, from the way it is now. Okay, so we can still do, yeah, we could still do cast iron uh, with steel in there. So I can, let's see, if I keep using the, the stone on this, oh, I want a pork taco. If I keep using the stone, I assume that the mold is just going to continue to change. Pike fillets. Greedy, greedy. Okay, bronze. But we need an actual, just a plain old copper ingot. Uh, yeah. There's the pan mold. And I guess the cast iron sheet might be how you make the, uh, the stove. Is this going here? No. Really? Move this other way. Okay, so we've got two rods and a pipe. We need one more rod. We need like four uh, sheets, which require rods to make also. So we need to turn all, pretty much all of these into rods. And then we also need a copper rod. Should we make more copper than this? We already have a decent amount of bronze. Why not? Let's just go ahead and make six copper ingots. And then, oh, what am I doing? We only need one for, uh... The rod. Then we'll have a stack of a few extra. Because copper is really useful. Copper can be used for a lot of things. Ah. 
I think that's what useful means, right? Because it can be used for things. Where'd you find all that iron? Right. Have we gotten any more water yet? Yes, we did. Okay. We're not running this yet, but I just want to have it ready. Because um, we could actually, once we get the crucibles done, we could quickly do a couple of, uh, of steel. Oh, I let the, uh, the fire go up. Lefy. Can't even see me. Oh my gosh. I'm already going to have to take another quick break. It's like every 50 minutes. Okay. I'll be, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Yo, didn't I have, didn't I have it set up so that you guys could see, uh, hmm. it's just seeing it as the wrong thing. There we go. Two tech. There. So there's the hand wheel. And here's the Bessmer converter. Um yeah, so we need we need three rods and a pipe. And then this is three sheet metal. So three sheet metal and one rod is all we need for the actual thing right now. Yeah. One, two, three. The vessel. And then one rod, two rod, three rods. And a pipe. Is it three or four? It's hard to tell. It looks like three rods and a pipe. And then the hand wheel is a hot copper rod on an anvil. Uh, then you just hit it with the hammer. So yeah, we need three sheet metal... Oh, it, it looks like there is a, a pipe hiding back there. So we need four, or a rod. We need four rods, probably. Okay. 
So, oh, hang on. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to switch. There. Yeah. So two rods, three sheet metal. We still have we still have what we need here uh, to do this. Uh, but yeah, first we'll get the, the copper going. Don't have enough time on this to to get everything rolled, so we won't worry about that. Okay. So the roller doesn't run as as long as the kiln does. I don't know how many how many rods we'll be able to get in one run. But we need this <clears throat> copper ingot and we need all of this steel uh, done along with it. So you know what? Actually the um if we can get the steel done. You know, it would be much better if we did it in this one. Because it's, it's closer, you know? Obviously. So yeah, we could just do roller, roller, roller. Let's put this up here. And then we do the copper, hit it, hit it, hit the anvil, and then smack it. That should... I mean, maybe we can get it all? I don't know. We're about to find out, though. Hit it. The lag is what kills me. Oh, dang it. Oh, this doesn't work anyway. Wait, I can't... I can't heat the ingot? Oh. You just make... You just make the pipe on the roller. Or the rod, I mean. And then you heat the rod. So I... I could have done it if I freaking paid attention and known that. Again. I just had to use it on the roller. I didn't have to heat it first. We may not have still had time, but... But it's possible we would have. So I have to waste... I have to waste uh, a whole thing of this just to get one ingot. Yeah, 
It has to be done either way. And then you can't, uh, you can't swap out things. Oh, she took the buckets to go get more water, I think. Good old Aranu. She's always on top of it. Wait a second. Uh, we only need three pipes up here. There. So these three we need to turn into sheet metal. And they have to be hot for that. And then these four and this pipe will go on there uh, with this hand wheel. And I guess we want it somewhere near uh, the blast furnace. Hot rod, anvil, wheel, hand wheel, Vesmer converter. So then when it's tipped down horizontal, you pour pig iron into it, and then it converts pig iron into steel. And then you can pour the molten steel back into the ladle cart, and then that's how you get steel beams. Okay. Like, really, where do we want this thing? It's so large. Right, do we put it down here? Because it's going to cover up this. Do we put it over to the to one side, like right here? Move the pencil out of the way. Because then we can... Uh, Blast furnace with the ladle. Come down here and fill it up, like, right away. And then tilt it up. Tilt it back down into the ladle and then use the mold. I guess so. out anyway. We got three. There, that time I was kind of on top of it. I mean, this is my my death song. Do I really want to waste a pike? I don't. I don't. Even if I die uh, of hunger... <laughs> 
Don't die high. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh man surely if i'm born as an eve it's not gonna have me high all the time right it is oh yeah this is the good stuff and there's so many different character models am i gonna permanently be faster now i mean just for the speed boost this is totally worth it <laughs> you know you guys wanted to see this. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see, did I have anything in my pants? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> the colors are just slowly changing. This is definitely a psychedelic experience here. Boom. I mean, we're we're kind of encroaching on the um, the garden here. If we ever wanted to put walls, it's going to be very close, which isn't a bad thing. It's just starting to feel a little cramped around, you know. Boom. Oh, I need a, a gooseberry. Boom. Ah, oh, that sobered me up. That's good. Wild beat. Thank you, Runner. She's the best. She's got one. <coughs> Wild onion. See, that's much easier. Wild onions are easy to find. Now I think it's a, uh, yeah, smithing ever, of course. A lot of smithing in this life, in the last, which I love.
No, that's that's okay actually. And we'll go different uh, tongs for these. Oh no. <laughs> we got some of them done. That's good. <laughs> oh, perfect. I already drilled a coconut, so a split coconut we could do. Look at, look at that turtle creeping around all over the place. He's adorable. It's a round stone, isn't it? There we go. I can't remember, can I put this in my backpack? I can't. Or in my pants pocket, either one. He's so cute. Tortoise. True. Uh, so let's see. Blast furnace. Uh, how to use? Charge with coke and then kerosene. And then while it's on fire. You put limestone in there. Then that's how you get pig iron. Okay. Okay. And then for the... Let's see. We need the... Um, tank of kerosene. How do we make the converter? Just filled. Yeah, fractional distiller. That's what we need. A boiler and a fractional distillation tower. That requires a pipe too, doesn't it? Yeah. And a double cylinder. Okay, double cylinder, pipe, a boiler. So that's pretty easy. So we need three iron and a steel for that. Oh. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, did I have a baby while I was checking my my stuff? I'm getting this out of here. We're dumping her bones in the swamp. Then she'll become a, a bog body. And archaeologists will, will find her years from now. And think that she was somebody special. They were preserved. Especially in the... In the bog. No. We just accidentally dumped them in there and didn't realize it would preserve them. Uh, the lag is really hitting me right now for some reason. I wonder if Steam is downloading something without my consent. Since this isn't a, a Steam game. Uh, 
Uh, it's possible. <coughs> Let me check right quick, because it seems to be hitting harder right now than it has been. No, it's not currently downloading anything. These are all complete already. Okay. We've got the live stream monitor running, but that shouldn't cause too much of an issue. Let's grab an orange. We still haven't made orange juice or uh, lemonade. I don't think we need to, but... It would be kind of interesting. Okay, so we've got the three iron here that we need. Then we just need one rod, of course, and then turn it into a pipe, which means we're going to be using the Newcomen engine twice for one item. I feel like there's got to be something else that we can make out of it. Like, is there any reason to have more copper ingots? Maybe we could make wires? Maybe we need copper wires for stuff later. You could make garlands from trees. You could make coils. We've already got a loom. Filaments. Uh, what's this? Oh, Christmas lights? If you have glass and a wire, it makes Christmas lights. Yeah, wire fence kit. Carbon microphone, electromagnet. Blowpipes for the fancy wheelbarrow? Okay. That's for the wheels, uh, the wheel with tire. Wheel. Oh no, those are just curved shafts. That's for the wagon. Okay. Fancy. Oh, the steel. Steel wheelbarrow? Okay, yep. That requires two... Blowpipes. Okay. And the blowpipes are, yeah, a pipe through the roller twice. But that's... We'd have to make... We'd have to make the rods, and then the pipes, and then roll the pipes again. Which I guess we could do. We've only got this three steel right now. Hmm. So if we made three rods, and then three pipes, we can make two blowpipes. Okay, that's not bad. So that's really all we need uh, for all that. Why, why the lag? It's really cutting down on my efficiency. Which I'm not the most efficient already, so... Having the lag subtract from my efficiency even further is really, uh, troubling. There, while I'm thinking about it. Have an appointment tomorrow morning, so you need to get some sleep. You'll most likely watch the rest of the stream. Thank you so much, Ron. Yeah, I can never thank you enough because I would just not—I would just not be able to do these things uh, without all your help. You're amazing. Thank you. Well, I might be able to eventually do them, but it'll take me like ten times as long. <laughs> oh man. Okay, 
So we get the, the three rods made. And then, do we want to get a little more steel? I think we might. We'll get the three rods made and try to make at least three more iron uh, ingots. We'll leave the stack of iron for the pig iron. We'll try to make as many ingots as we can right quick. I really should have lit the uh, Newcomen engine first, because I know that we have more than enough time to do this. Come on. Go. Oh my god. This one's going to cool before I can get the hammer. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Very good. Um, I just wanted to move this. Now, reminder to myself, I actually need to take off the, um, Ding, ding, ding. The tongs. Because the rods don't need to be hot. I just have to use them on the... on the board. I'm gonna triple check. Because, yeah. Use a hand with the steel rod on the board. Even though I just did this five seconds ago, I don't trust myself to remember. That, is this four? That's four of them, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's cool. Alright. So you have to use the... Um, let's see. Cylinder... On a flat rock. You can't make it on, on an anvil? Yeah, it's got to be a flat rock. I should have done, um, actually. Uh, yep, drop that. Alright. Okay. We got a tank. That was close. I should have thought about that way before. Oh, we know it's a chisel. Did I not see a... I thought I saw a chisel just hanging out down here somewhere. Ooh. 
Okay. I know um, there's one up by the the glass. We can put it over here somewhere uh, because we're going to be coming with the oil from this side. We don't need it all in the in this area because it's already getting cramped as it is. Tortoise, don't run! Don't flee! He's going to the swamps. He craves the moisture. Actually, he's a tortoise. Don't they live in the desert? Boom. Okay. Now we have to we have to pump it, right? Pop, pop it up. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have to turn it on and get it to uh to pump. Ah. It's a long way to go just for that. Oh wait, there was... We don't need to make the fire big, but just in case for the future if we want to uh, have some firewood down here, let's do it this way. Hey, Lori App, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Still four folks watching? I feel like it may be different folks, though. So if you're having a good time, uh, please remember to drop a like. We're going to do fractional distiller. We need an empty tank for it also. And then we pour the crude in there after, after we put bitumen. No, fractional distiller with empty tank. So crude oil... So we need another tank. Dang it. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't... I should have left that bowl here. Foolish. It's a good thing that was still burning. I didn't realize I needed two... Two tanks. I thought the tank that was on the fractional distiller was the crude oil on top, but it doesn't make any sense. 
Oh, maybe once we pour the oil in there, we can use this same tank for the kerosene. Oh. Can put flooring over the strip of water to extend the space. Over the strip of water. Can I not? Oh, it has to have the empty tank on there to put this on there. That doesn't make any sense. So we'll turn one of these into a tank, and we'll turn two of these into uh, actual wrought iron. Yeah, it should be fine. There. It's good enough. Now we've still got four Boom. red iron. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. There. Uh, then yeah, I can take that and go put it back on the oil thing later. Uh, but we need basket charcoal. <laughs> So we'll have kerosene here in a second. Beautiful. Be beautiful. Okay. Let's take uh, these two. We'll go fill them up. We'll take this one also and fill it up. fillets in here. These are the cooked ones, right? Pike fillets. Cod fillets. There's there's four skewers here. Oh, sardines. Shrimp, pike, and cod. Shrimp, char, pike, cod, trout. We don't have any bass. Trout, pike, cod, char. Okay. Yeah, we literally don't have any bass. I've got a little uh, food in me.
A boot. I mean a pike, sorry. Yeah, oh, caught. Oh, another boot. Can't pile them up. It's a big waste of worms. Oh no. Come on, just one bass. That's all I need. I feel like catching nothing is better than catching an old boot. And not losing your worm is pretty essential. My God. <laughs> How rare are bass? <laughs> please give me a bass. Pretty please. <laughs> oh my God, that's a pike. Oh no, we're out. Okay, we know there's that big pile of worms. Uh, where was it? To the south, kind of? Is that where it was? I need to figure out how to make uh, more wormy holes, too. Let me see. Uh, worm. Pile of worms, small hole, worm. Oh, you whack a mole, and then uh, you can get a worm out of it. After five minutes, one worm. Okay. Well, I don't know where the where the rest of our mallets are, but oh, there's one right here. Let's go whack them all. Use the wheelbarrow. Kunk. Whack. Kunk. Yeah, wormless pit with mushroom. Kunk. Well, if I hadn't lost Kunk. the wheelbarrow. I would totally use it. Ah, it's right in front of me. Okay. To leave him here for now. Oh. There we go. Now, is it wormy? It might be. Can I dump this in the compost box or where does it go? I just dump it on the ground and it makes a huge pile of soil? Or is that what all, all these are? I bet I can't dump it in the compost box. Okay. 
West Pole. Okay. Let me see. Ah! Okay. I see how it works now. Uh, I do need to eat something. I think I'll free up some of the bowls that are full of stew. Oh. Oh, they're on the, uh, the shelves. Good, good, good. Jelly con carne. We got some. I got worms in my shorts. Oh yeah. I was gonna take that over there. Okay, let's go do that right quick, uh so I can get that out of my inventory. Where did all the buckets go? Did I already take it over here and put the what? Wait, what? I put all the buckets in in a in a cart, didn't I? I'd lose my head if it wasn't strapped on. No, that's the wheelbarrow. This is the other cart. Where could I have possibly gone with that other cart? With all the buckets in it. Why am I so scatterbrained? I swear I left it right here. I just filled it up with buckets. Oh my god. Why am I like this? I wouldn't have brought it over this way. It should only be between there and here, because I was going to bring it over and put this in it. What the heck? And it wasn't it wasn't like even a little bit broken down, so it's not like it despawned or something. I haven't noticed anybody else around to who would have taken it. This is impossible. What the heck did I do with that freaking cart? I guess I won't find it if I run around in the exact same spots, but this is crazy. So I thought I had brought it down here so that I could smack the mole, but it's not here. The other card is. Did it just disappear? Okay, no, it's there. Abandoned rabbit hole. This is crazy. I feel I feel like a crazy person. Where the heck is that wagon with all the buckets in it? I wouldn't have taken it this way. It shouldn't be over here. I didn't take it way down here. I didn't see it in the kitchen when we ran through there. Am I just completely overlooking it? Like, what in the world? There's three full buckets of water over here. Here's the horse cart. Oh, here it is. It's in. It was in the freaking kitchen. Oh my god. Madness. I guess we could get uh, what we need to start up the fire again. Which is just, uh, just this. I, 
like a, like a absolute crazy person. That was that was wild. Crazy person. In the kitchen, I ran past it. <laughs> Ugh. I'm just not on it today, folks. I'm just not. I feel like that must be obvious by now, but. Boom. I didn't bring the axe either. That's fine. Now I don't have a bowl to fill up these two uh, buckets. That's okay. A lot of these ponds are empty. A lot of these ponds are full. Maybe I ought to just bring the, buck the buckets up here. Fill them up in these ponds. lose my head if it wasn't tied on. I know, I know. Okay. Uh, 
let me grab a basket. I ought to have more than enough room for all those worms out of that wormy soil pit. But just in case. I just need to I just need to catch one bass. One. Two mines north, one northwest, and one northeast. Oh, wow. Okay. I knew about the one that was pretty much directly north, a little bit east. I didn't know about the other one. I did it again. I'm sorry. It seems like every time the song comes on, I end up tabbing out. I was going to look up bass. I want to know why the heck I'm not catching any. Got pike for days and cod. Just deep water. Nine percent chance. But it's nine percent for the cod also. And ten percent for an old boot. I just need one bass. Just one, please. One bass fillet. Oh my god. Pretty sure that's more than a pile. And it's been really quiet today for one hour one life. I don't think I've seen more than four people watching at a time all day. Surprising. Or two hours one life, sorry. It's true. I forget what game I'm playing sometimes. I was excited for a second. Oh wait, is it a bass? No, it's a trout. Why didn't it why didn't it let me stack it? The bass are more blue. Not not as blue as the char, but not as silvery as the trout. That is the first trout that I caught though, so maybe maybe the RNG gods will be kind. R and Jesus, please. I need a bass. Oh my god. Not a shoe. 
<laughs> bass and shoe don't even sound the same. Are you kidding me? You are kidding me, right? You're trying to pull a funny joke? Hilarious. Ah, oh, that makes me so angry. So angry. All right, what did we have cooked already? Cod, pike, shrimp, and sardines. Pike, cod, trout. Oh, these are these are cooked. Oh yeah, they're all cooked. Okay, never mind. I was gonna pull them out and and cook them, but they're all cooked already. The only raw stuff is this uh the beef right there. That apple pie is almost toast though. I could make a backup apple pie, I guess. Put it over one of the shelves. I'll think about it. Okay. I have to take a, another quick break, of course. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're back. Uh. Oh, well, I'm gonna need to eat some one of these days. I'm curious about the um, the blast furnace thing. What? Where did this bowl come from? We still have six down here. Two, three, yeah. We do. I left the bowl at the other place, didn't I? I mean, I know I brought this back with me, but I'm sure I left the bowl at the other place. This is the bowl I grabbed uh, to fill up the buckets, isn't it? Okay. Um. All right, we got buckets. Yeah, I kind of want to check this out. We'll put a iron ingot in there, and then this. Wait, how do we how do we get the um, the pan? How do we do cast iron? Yeah, I know it's in a pan. Uh, little cart. Molten cast iron, scrap steel. Okay. We don't have. Uh, we don't have scrap steel right now. We use it to repair stuff. So if we do the pig iron, then I can I can use that to make steel to make the um, the steel beams. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab uh, some stew this time. Like I said, I was going to do earlier. Do any of these look like they're partially eaten? This one does. Hey, I was right. Alright, yeah. So we light this up, we put the limestone and then the iron in there.
charge with limestone. Put the iron ore in, and then we get pig iron out. Okay. Let's give it a try. Do we need more than one Coke in there? Oops. No. So wait, after we... Oh, kerosene. Yeah, we need the kerosene in there. My bad. God, it's expensive to make this stuff, isn't it? Make two. No. Why is it still running if I can't add to it? Why does it run for so long if you can't add anything to it? Oh. So you can't. Still molten. Okay, so it's not a waste, because you can do a lot more. I just didn't know you had to also add add coke in there. But then you've got this running the whole time too. Scrap steel and what else can you put in there? Charge with coke. Pig iron ingots. Okay. Yeah. So scrap scrap steel is how you get cast iron. Um. Okay. Wow, this runs for a long time too, so you could do a lot of this stuff, but I I kind of wasted it. Uh, we'll be able to get a bunch more... Oops, I keep forgetting. A bunch more iron now, though. This isn't even heavy. Alright, let's take this over to the, to the iron mine that requires it. I think I've gone too far north already. There we go. We have a full-on iron mine now. Here. Casterite, niter, limestone. Okay. I should have brought uh, some baskets and we could have brought more limestone back because the furnace will require it. I guess I could have loaded some up in my in my backpack and stuff too. Yeah, 
right, we can take soil out of there also. Feels bad though. I don't like, um, I don't like taking all of the soil, you know? I guess we all always have a use for it with the garden and everything, but you know, we're not, we're not, it's only two of us here, so we're not harvesting all that much or cooking all that much. So we don't actually need massive amounts of soil. Okay. Uh, it's not like one thing on the ground. Okay. I feel like if I dump this, I can still pick it up later. I wonder if you leave one worm in there, if they eventually will multiply, you know? If we leave it as a wormy pit, will it, will they eventually grow back in? I'd be surprised. Why don't I take this all the way up to the garden? That's still running? I thought it I thought it shut off whenever I left. Oh well. I thought it shut off before I left. That's crazy, it runs for a long time. I mean we could make steel out of straight iron out of it, but I don't know. We may need more wrought iron for other things, you know? So I don't know if I want to use all of this iron. And I guess we only have, like, three more that we could possibly make. And we can always bring back more iron. Yeah, I thought... See, I thought it turned off already last time before I left. Okay. Well, there's got to be a way to make uh, scrap iron anyway. Scrap steel, I mean. Broken steel, too. Crucible was scrap steel. But what was that um, scrap bowl? That's how you wipe it off. It just becomes a crucible. So I couldn't take it out then. And do something else with it. Welcome back, Alex. Glad you're ready for work. It's good news. Okay. So we have to actually wait until we break a couple of tools, which this one is close to breaking anyway. Oh yeah, I got worms. So I could go break this uh, pick. It probably won't give me enough iron to, uh, to fill up my backpack and stuff. Though it is the last pick that we have. Did we make any more iron? No, we don't have any more iron. So we'd have to make iron out of this, or, or this, or whatever I bring back to. Oh, and I need to eat. Oh, I'm a crazy person. I don't think we'll need... Uh, I might as well keep the fire going. Okay. Uh, let's see, we had bread. We've had beef, I think. Uh, there's no more plates, so I can't eat turkey or the other stuff. Let's eat the, the last of the apple pie here. Boom. 
And then we can use the plate for either turkey or, or pizza. Okay, got the pickaxe. We're gonna head over to the iron mine. Since it's called an iron mine, I would think that the only thing that we get out of there is iron. We're about to find out, though. We're about to discover the truth. Why did you run to the side? I was trying to drop it straight down. Okay, watch this stupid pickaxe prove me wrong. That's already more than I can uh, bring back with me. I was sure it was going to break long before now. There it goes. There we go. Why? Alright, so we've got nine. So I need three baskets to get the rest of it. We could just bring the regular card. Try to use up the hoe as well, but I don't know what I would hope. Oh, you know what? I could do um, floors uh, for the house, so I could hoe up a bunch of wheat. Harvest a bunch of wheat and then hoe it up. Uh... Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Now we have a massive amount of iron. So I could have changed that to an ingot mold and then just turned pig iron into steel or just done pig iron ingots, either way. Because then we could just turn that into steel. But I don't see the point. Unless there's something else you can do with the pig iron ingots, but I didn't see anything in the... In, I guess it saves the step of converting it at the time. So you could make a bunch of ingots while it's converting and then you know, do back and forth or whatever. But I don't know. I think the pig iron ingots have to be hot in order to convert them. I think they have to be molten. So you just have to put them back in the furnace to melt them again. So yeah, it feels like, it feels like a waste. We have so so much iron too. Went from having basically none to uh, being pretty much full. Oh, 
Oh my god. Why am I like this? I felt it too. I was like, this is the wrong button. That's the last one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, we can turn those into blowpipes. What else did we need for the fancy Wilbro? I think it was, uh... Plates. Sheets of metal. Yeah, and another wheel as well. Is it one sheet of metal? Yeah. So one sheet of metal and one pulley. Uh, with the... With the rubber on there. Which, if we make blowpipes, we can make a rod for the sheet metal. And then we do the rod and uh, and an ingot for the pulley on the hammer. Hmm. Yeah, we do the two blowpipes and a rod. And then I, I want to make some more uh, wrought iron for sure. So it's a good thing I kept the, the thing running. The fire. Oh wait, we don't have any steel to make an extra rod, so we need to do the iron first. And then also uh, steel. I know what I'm doing. I've played this game before. You know what else? No, if I put the kerosene, it'll start the engine. I forget about that. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that. All right. Let me get this set up a little, a little differently. Multiple iron ingots in the blast furnace. Instead of doing it this way, that's actually a really good idea. Yeah, it goes straight to the ingot mold. So then we could just take the iron, get the steel, put it in. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it that way then. Yeah. So I think we, we had to uh, run the engine first, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't work like that. I still gotta take this and do this. I can only do one at a time. So we're still only actually getting, um... Three ingots out of this. Uh, I guess. What? Why can't I put that in the kiln? Cook. 
I wasn't able to earlier. You have to put uh, coke and and limestone in over and over. I can't I can't keep putting it in just straight up. You have to do the coke, limestone, iron in that order every single time. Because even if I just put coke in there and then iron, it doesn't work. Just let me, just let me swap them. I don't want to put it right there. All right, fine. Oh, God freaking dang it. I'm so stupid. I was trying to put it in the converter. So, well, we have a freaking... Oh, no, that was, that was steel. Okay, I did it right. I'm not as dumb as I thought. Up to 12 iron. Yeah. It's not, it's not working that way. Do you have to use, uh, tongs? No. It's not working that way. Because it's on, it's running, but I can't, it's not allowing me to put any more, uh, iron in there. We could have put this Bessemer converter like up here somewhere. Made it a little more convenient. Yeah, and it's it's just firing. It's not. You have to do the same order every single time. Oh, that's why it wouldn't work. We don't have any more coal than that. I mean, granted, this is or maybe not cheaper, but it's a little more reasonable than doing the iron ore and then the charcoal and stuff. But if you don't have the resources, then you don't have the resources. Because coal isn't easy to get, and then... Yeah, it's not, it's not letting me do iron after I put the coal and coke in there. I, I'm not sure I'm not sure where you got the that information from the coke engine on firing Put the limestone and then yeah iron ore no it does it does say that I should be able to put more iron in there but it wasn't letting me I must have done it wrong. Hmm. I thought I was trying to add iron while it was full of iron and it wouldn't let me. But that's what it says to do. I must have been doing it wrong. Just plain and simple. Oh my god. Just waste of resources all the time. Don't mind me. I know you know more about the game than me, so I believe you, but I thought I was trying to do that and it wasn't letting me, but I must have just been doing it wrong. I was sure you already got the, the coal from up here, though. You said north, east, and northwest, so I'll, I'll check up on both sides here. Oh, I need to get food before I leave. 
I ate that little bit of pizza, but it wasn't. Wasn't enough. That's not what I wanted to do either. What? I can't. I can't get the. Oh. I forget about that. You don't need, um. You don't need a plate in this one. God. Why am I so wasteful in this game? Yeah, because if you can, if you can do twelve iron at a time, then freaking amazing. That would have been great. But I I just didn't didn't do it right, I guess. Because I thought it doesn't make any sense for me to charge it up like that and for it to run all the time and not be able to put anything else in it. Okay, there is still coal here. Good. Oh, that's cast right. Uh, let's load up with limestone then. I'm not going to be able to make the coke fast enough to make some more iron or anything, but hey, this is something. If I had brought the horse, maybe I would have been able to, but I don't know why I just don't ride the horses very much. They're so fast. Ah! I used the cart too soon. I think you're probably right. That has to be the uh, that has to be the answer because I wasn't able to put the iron in. Yeah, it's already stopped running. What the heck am I doing? So dang flustered now from being dumb. I've wasted so many resources today. So many. A bunch of water. I guess charcoal isn't the worst, because you can always make uh, tree farms. Okay, good. Fire is out again. I mean, we still we only have four of these. Oh, we've still got three. Yeah. So if I did if I did twelve iron into steel, then we would still have plenty of iron, and we can always go get more iron. What am I doing wrong now? Oh, it needs kindling? I guess that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, more limestone would be good. And I gotta go see if there, if that other, um... Oh yeah, I've got a potato on me, don't I? I gotta go see where that other mine is. See if there's more coal up there. Do you remember where northwest or like past the desert or in in a jungle? I was thinking it was in the mountain. Biome. I feel like I feel like I vaguely remember there being one up here. That's a 
bear cave. You know, I do need some more limestone. I just want to see how much more coal we can find. Oh no. I think to the left of the jungle? Okay. Oh yeah, no, that's a bear cave. Yeah, we're getting down to the to where that other mine was down here. So if it's further north than that than that mine, that would be nice. It's another bear cave. Maybe it's all the way up here to the left of this jungle. There is a sharp rock here. So somebody's been up here. I wonder if it was the the one that was straight west of us. Yeah, and we're back at the iron mine. Minus 21, 190 from where we were born. Okay, how do I bring up uh, coordinates? Magic words. Die, FPS, net. Ping. Is that under FPS? West 21 and north 190. So that is way further north than west. Okay. I'll take this uh, limestone back and then we'll head up there. Because we usually spawn in like right up here. No. Further west. We don't bop the slimestone.
Let's take the horse. Oh, you need the mod for the coordinates? I'll download that as soon as the as soon as this life is over and win the stream. This is gonna be my last life. I can usually only do two per stream. We got fifteen minutes. Okay. So twenty one west and ninety north. So we usually spawn in west of here. In the green land. Wait a minute. Yeah, these trees over here is where we normally spawn. Usually your clothes are here to give me an indicator, but it's usually like right up here. Uh, yeah, either here or, or in these these trees. Either way. Okay. So about 20... 21... West. That's as far as I can zoom. Yeah, so it's 190 north of like this. This one. Ah, big goose. We're too far west now. Should be able to see it with this zoom. That's close. God. See why I don't like riding the horse? up here? Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Holy heck. Okay. There's only two piles of coal, sadly. But that's better than none. Uh, okay, and I, ass I assume this isn't quite dead? It's not quite dead, sir. Okay. Good. Then that means we can come back and uh, potentially get some more coal. For coke. I wonder, how do you, how do you mine coal once all the mines are expired? How do you, whoa, how do you get more coke? I think the horse was a good choice for this run, though. Taking the horse up there to get that... To mine up there and stuff is, like, the only the only choice, really. Uh... Yeah, we need one we need one more pile of coal uh to make coke. Which no, that's charcoal. We can't use that. Okay. So yeah. I've only got three steel because I am the few. And I do it wrong. Last right. To not be an idiot.
That's it. It's almost like you knew what you were talking about. Loads of mines, heck yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's see. You are a woman and I am a man. So of course I know what's going on. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that didn't fill up. Because I've got to empty this before I can do more. I don't want a bunch of pig iron ingots. to take or one ingot oh, wait did we oh we filled it up with all 12 I see oh man let's get a were there more crates down here so you could do even more than than what I'm doing here madness Oh, I did it again. Still stays molten. Yeah, and see, this is still firing, and it makes me feel bad because we got all of that iron out of there, like, right away. But still, getting uh getting twelve out of it uh, makes it worthwhile. Because it's still better than than what I was doing before. Actually, doesn't take long to dump the, the steel. So we could really have emptied this out a lot faster if we had more molds, but this will have to do for now. Oh, why do I keep doing that? It's left click, Yadangus. That way is good for small jobs. Uh, now you can make you a pot and stove. That's correct. I need to figure out how to 
I mean, I'm gonna have to break some tools uh, to actually do that. Oh, that was it. That was the last one. Unless you can just make scrap iron by putting it on the workbench. Yeah, sadly, no. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to break another tool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna do, uh... I was gonna do floors, wasn't I? Let's get the blueprint set up. And that's how I was gonna break the hoe. And then we can't put one below the, the thing. Two, three, four, five. It's not- I'm not going to be able to do that much. Because I've only got four minutes to live, so... I shouldn't have done that. did five, didn't I? Oh, no, I did six. <laughs> I won't even probably have time to replant. drink any beer or wine today in either of my lives. I'm gonna die in a weird place. Lori up! With the $5 super chat, thank you so much. It lives. Run! Run! I mean, all my clothes will be stuck up here, sadly, but... I hope they don't die or anything. Five dollars super chat, thank you so, so much. That is incredible. You make the pot and stove with pig iron? I thought it was... I thought it was... That makes sense. That makes sense. I was absolutely certain that it was not that. Pig iron and ingot mold. I 
Uh, the only thing that I'm seeing on how to use pig iron is putting it in the blast furnace again. Oh, you make the ingots to make the pig iron, and then you use the pig iron in the furnace to make the cast iron. I see now. And then with the cast iron, you make cast iron sheets, cylinders, and pans. Okay. I'm slow. I'm slow. Cast iron sheet. So four cast iron sheets and a cylinder makes the stove. Two cylinders. Four sheets and two cylinders makes the stove. So I do need to make just pig iron ingots. Okay. Well, the iron, the iron mine is up and running. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've got to make the pig iron in it ingots and then put them back through the furnace which makes sense i mean you could do it you just put the iron in there and then you start making ingots out of the the iron that you pull out and as you make the ingots you just charge the furnace again and start putting the ingots in there then by the time you're done with the pig iron ingots you have you can go up and grab the cast iron out of the furnace because the furnace wasn't through burning up by the time i got all the steel done was it if so we could make a third uh ingot mold and then we could make two of them uh, sheet molds and one of them cylinder because it's four to two and then we could get a, a stove built and that would use up six cast iron so really you only need nine cast iron to make a pan and a and a stove we could have two pans Amaze balls. Oh man. I appreciate that. Hot cast iron pan. So you could put eggs in there, you could put rabbits in there. Goose. What is this? Oh, broken egg, beaten egg, tortillas, filleted bass. For the seasoning. I remember that because my dude was craving seasoned bass one time. Yeah, all the fish can go in there. Char, pancakes, sardines. So it's basically like a, a hot coals. Oh, what do you do with the pan with butter? Then you put the seasoned bass in there. I see. Seasoned fish. Seasoned shrimp. Rubbed pork. Beef. Mutton. Raw chicken on a plate. And then you fry them up. Just don't leave the butter on there or else it's a failed dish. That's fun. That's going to be fun. I'm really excited for that. So yeah, you only need to... You only need to make nine cast iron. To get the stove and the and the pan but like i say we could make a couple of pans instead of just one and that way we could cook multiple dishes at a time i guess all right sunday indeed sunday indeed and it could even be a longer stream i might try to do like three lives or something we'll get the stove going we'll get the pan uh we'll definitely be mining some more iron and then we might do some try to get some herbs together to make the rubs and the seasoning and stuff like that it'll be great I'm very excited. Thank you, Raranu. Thank you, David. Of course, my mods, Alex and Dunson. It was great having you all here. Laurie, yep. Man, MVP. Thank you so much for that super chat. I cannot, ex like, describe how much that means to me. Thank you so much. Let's see. I know we had other people. Dread Raider, Tommy Two Taps. Cyber Zombie was here. Retro Gaming 2.0. Stephen Cairns. It was great having all of y'all here. Thank you so much. That's going to do it for this one. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel by becoming a member or through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.